Good morning. You're never not going to get a video of me in this robe from now on. Like, I hope you know that. Once I wore it once and no one said anything, I feel like I've just given myself permission to never put in effort again. I thought I would come back and do another vlog. Um, Italy just entered a lockdown. It's fine. Like, I kind of knew this would happen before I came here, so... Actually, I'm going to get dressed and I'll come back. Hang on. It's actually a really nice day today. It's... Tuesday. Today is supposed to be the day that I finally do all the things that I've been putting off doing and I have to refilm something for my How I Moved video, my moving Q&A video. Oh, so I'll show you what kind of tea I've been making since I've arrived. This is definitely not the tea I was having at home. I have to microwave my water because there's no kettle here, but that's fine. God, I'm getting back pain from the way I'm sitting, which is actually very unfortunate, but very expected considering my whole life. Even at my office job, I would sit with my both my feet on the desk like this. Or my, I'd look like Gollum, <laughs> but this is how I would see it at work. And now I have back pain and I'm like, but I wonder why. Um, what I'm going to do is I have my computer. I'm going to watch. What is this massive dent in my laptop? Hello, ma'am. That is so not my problem that's an issue that i'm gonna ignore i want to watch ready player one because do you remember i don't know if the videos are all privated but do you remember when i made that trailer reaction to the fucking ready player one movie i used to be like a massive simp for ready player one when i was like 16. this was like when i started my booktube channel i haven't read that many books and i was like oh my god ready player one like <laughs> Die. I made a trailer reaction and then I just never watched the movie and that was like three years ago to still be productive at the same time because I don't really want to watch it in Italian to be honest with you I just want to watch it in English I'm going to ma'am try to do some Duolingo levels at the same time This is the Oasis and it's literally just fucking Minecraft, dude. Tell me this movie didn't just be like the Oasis and then they just put Minecraft. I also have to do some online shopping. Do you want to help me buy a new hoodie? Because I've been wearing this thing for like the past three months in a row. I like this one or this one. My mind is telling me to get this gray one because it's simple. It'll go with everything. But burnt orange is right here. I have so many gray ones already. I really don't need it, you know. <gasps> Stop. I think maybe this. I feel like this is a vibe. Yes, with the fucking burnt orange. Hello. Oh, brown. Hello. I thought this was burnt orange. Excuse me, brown. My interest has just like decreased a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. If this is fashion, why am I not on the cover of every magazine? This is how I look 90% of the time. Disheveled ass, rolled out of bed, looking a mess, doesn't know how to wear clothes properly. This is me. ASOS, fucking hire me. Never mind buying clothes. Like where's the careers section? Hey guys, happy Monday. Is it Monday? Yeah. It's Monday afternoon. I just went for a walk, which is really nice. It's actually really nice to get out of the house into the fresh air and like move. Also, I have like severe back pain. I just rubbed something on my back that Mateo's dad found and like it's stinging. <laughs> I feel like I'm on fire and like not in a good way. I literally feel the flames like licking my back. I tried to vlog last week and it just failed, like completely failed. I don't know why, but I just couldn't like carry the vlog, I guess. Anyway, it's been a pretty exciting week. Matteo's sister had a baby. That's really cute. We can't wait to meet him. Apparently there's a tradition in Italy that I had no idea about because obviously we don't do this in Australia. I don't know what this is, but apparently it's really common tradition to put this blue thing on your door when a baby's born in the family. And apparently this this was actually the one that they hung on the door when Matteo was born, which is crazy. They kept it for all these years. So I just thought that was really cute. Something about Italian culture that I thought I might share with you. The lighting went dark real quick. Anybody else? Just me? No? I impulse bought a Switch yesterday. All of 2020, I wanted to get a Switch and play Animal Crossing with everyone. Um, and I kept telling myself not to buy one because I knew between working and like traveling to and from work, 10 hours of my day were already lost purely to that and then aside from that i had like very limited time to myself to actually spend doing other things when you consider the fact that i already procrastinated everything else that i tried to fit into my schedule i already was struggling to fit in and i knew that if i bought a switch i would just be shooting myself in the foot and i knew that so i never bought the switch and i really wanted one during lockdown now i actually have time to do the fun things that i've always wanted to do but never could i bought it as like a christmas present to myself Mary 
Merry Christmas to me, bitch. Anyway, so I bought that yesterday. I bought the this one. Hopefully it arrives so that I can show you in this log. So I bought Animal Crossing, which is like the main reason I bought the Switch, to be honest. If we're going to be really real, I'm basically that bitch that bought an entire console to play one game. Um, I also got this one, Nino Kuni, which arrived already. Really excited for this one. I really love Studio Ghibli. So with Six of Crows, I want to try to read... Uh, I want to finish part three. Other than that, I think... What else did I do? I also tried to make ramen and it just didn't... It just failed completely. <laughs> Cipollotti bianchi. Cipollotti bianchi, freschi. Freschi. Oh my god, do they have the... <gasps> Bitch. I miss this so much. This is the highlight of my day. There's no internet today, which is actually a good thing because now I can read and there's no reason that I can't. There's nothing to distract me. I'm on 50% of the book. I've also got this beauty. This is just like an Italian kids book that I'm trying to read as well. I actually love this book. This is about like a train wreck mouse. His whole life is a mess. I'm on page 24. just woke up so just ignore my life right now so i've literally i think half my outfit is just mateo's clothes oh my god it was super weird i watched a movie in italian no i watched i started watching how to get away with murder we started watching it in italian with english subs and i could understand everything that they were saying it was so weird i can't even describe anyone who speaks to no anyone who's learned a second language that point when you can finally begin to understand Everything is like the creepiest but coolest but strangest feeling ever, I feel. I feel like my hairline recedes with every ponytail I do. That's my dad's genetics right there. <laughs> so my switch arrived. I'm so fucking excited. Like you don't understand. So excited to show you. I've already opened everything because not even because I'm impatient, like Mateo is impatient. Not even his switch, even though he likes to pretend that it is. He wanted me to open it. He forced me to open it. I was gonna unbox it on camera for you guys. I still have the box. Let's just pretend. Oh my god, already assembled? What? Get out. Here it is, bitch. <gasps> Isn't she cute? We love her. Anyway, I'm gonna... I'm pissed. <laughs> no, not really, but like, yes. I only have one game, Nino Kuni. I ordered this with Animal Crossing at the same time. That's the one I'm actually excited for. You know that's the one that I'm waiting for. Anyway, it hasn't arrived yet, and I'm, like, desperate for it. I'm hoping it's gonna arrive today, because... I just ordered a case. It's this this one here i'll link it below in case any of you guys want to get it as well i was considering actually just like swapping the complete like swapping the whole shell of this controller like you know how you can do the i think extreme what's it called extreme rate they make custom shells for the joy con controllers you can actually like switch them out but that's like a lot of effort that i just Anyway, reading update. I read, I finished part three. Okay, can I just say, this isn't a spoiler or anything, but I honestly don't give a fuck about Nina and Matthias, Matthias, whatever his name is. I don't know if that's an unpopular opinion, um, but I don't care. I care more about Kaz and Inej. I really don't give a shit about Matthias and Nina. I know that's the whole point, like, oh, enemies to lovers. And normally that's a, th normally I'm like, yes, but for this couple, I just feel like I don't want it. I want Kaz and Inej. That's what I want. I'm going to give you one final reading update. So it's Wednesday, the 2nd of December. I'm going to give you one final reading update before I end this vlog and then start a vlog for this week. I think I read like two chapters yesterday. So I'm up to chapter 24. I'm 64% through the book, which is cool. I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. There was like a mini twist. I feel like it's starting to pick up and I'm actually excited because it was 
not dragging, not dragging, but I feel like all we were hearing about was Matthias and Nina and I just didn't care. But now we're getting into more like Kaz's backstory and like the actual heist and I'm actually really excited now. And yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I've done anything else interesting this week. By the way, Animal Crossing still hasn't arrived. Ah, uh, salty. Anyways, hopefully this wasn't too boring. Like I know I didn't read a lot and I have been in quarantine, so it's not like there's much that I can do. Let me know if there's something that you want to see more of. But yeah, with that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day or night, whatever time it is for you right now. I'll see you soon. Bye.